Hi, my name is Mitch Dumont, Product Manager at Matrox Imaging. I'll be walking you through a demo showing the benefits of using a FPGA, or Field Programmable Gate Array device, as well as distributed processing to accelerate your machine vision applications. This demo highlights the Matrox or Pixo CXP series of frame grabbers, which are available with a number of inputs, FPGA devices, and data forwarding capabilities. Typical machine vision systems rely solely on a CPU to perform image processing and analysis. In many cases, the overall load on the CPU becomes the primary factor that stands in the way of increasing inspection rates or resolution. Now, what if you could leverage a different component of your machine vision system to handle demanding and highly repetitive processing operations, freeing your CPU from more analysis and other tasks? This is where FPGA devices and distributed processing come in. Taking a closer look at the demo setup, we have the Matrox SuperSight Duo, our high-end rack-mounted vision controller, or industrial PC, with two system host boards, or SHBs, each powered by an Intel Core i7 processor. Each SHB hosts one of our two latest frame grabber boards. On the left is the Matrox or Pixo CXP Pro, and on the right is the Matrox or Pixo CXP Quad with data forwarding. Connected to one of these frame grabbers is a Spark series camera from JAI, and the connection is made using a set of coaxial cables from Hutec cables. Let's have a closer look at the frame grabbers starting on the left side of the setup with the Matrox Rapixo CXP Pro. The Rapixo CXP Pro is a frame grabber equipped with an FPGA device from Xilinx that can not only control image capture, but also allows you to offload a portion of the image processing work from the host computer, which in this case is the first SHB in the Matrox SuperSight Duo platform. A variety of image processing algorithms are especially well suited for FPGA offload, such as decoding color information. For the purpose of this demo, the Matrox Rapixo CXP Pro handles the color decoding process using an adaptive Bayer technique developed by Matrox, while simultaneously locating a fast-moving object through the scene. The object in this case is a colored marble moving along a track. You can see here that an impressive processing rate of 100 frames per second for a 16 megapixel image is easily achievable and steady when using an FPGA device on the Matrox Rapixo CXP Pro. However, if the processing is completely transferred to the host processor, watch what happens the frame rate immediately drops to around 35 frames per second, and the host CPU is now at 60% utilization, with all its physical cores fully used. That doesn't leave much processing power for additional image analysis or other tasks. Meanwhile, if we switch back to the FPGA processing, the host CPU is barely used at all, leaving plenty of power for additional work. To translate your machine vision algorithms to FPGA code, Matrox Imaging provides a firmware development kit called the Matrox FDK. With the Matrox FDK, you can leverage native Xilinx tools to easily translate C++ vision algorithms to an FPGA-based implementation. Now, over to the other side of the demo, where we're looking at the Matrox or Pixel CXP Quad with data forwarding. You may have noticed that the camera being used is not directly connected to the Matrox or Pixel CXP Pro that we saw earlier. This is where the data forwarding capabilities of the Matrox or Pixel CXP Quad with data forwarding come into play. If we look behind the PC, you'll see that the JAI camera is connected to the Matrox or Pixel Quad data forwarding board's inputs. The image is then passed on through the outputs to the Matrox or Pixel CXP Pro, as well as to the memory of the second host, the second SHB, in this case, in the Matrox SuperSight Duo. This is done with the lowest possible latency, one single packet, and allows identical image data to be processed on multiple computers at once. For situations where a single host processor or a single FPGA are not enough to tackle your required image processing tasks, data forwarding offers a great solution. By using this technology, it becomes possible to cascade as many frame grabbers as you want across multiple host PCs, distributing the work of analyzing your image. Image processing tasks that are impossible for a single computer to handle can now be accomplished without compromising on latency, frame rate, or resolution. As you've seen in this demo, the use of multi-input frame grabbers with FPGA offload and distributed processing can help accelerate your vision applications by removing the barriers imposed by a single computer's processing power. More information about the Matrox or Pixo CXP series, the Matrox FDK, and the Matrox SuperSight platforms is available on the Matrox Imaging website. Please visit matrox.com imaging for more information.